Oh man, that's right. I got to do all the level ups. <laughs> you know, that's kind of something I dread because it's like, what if I make a bad choice? <laughs> I guess I could, um, I could trade out for who I'm going to take with me though. I remember that Shadowheart has something that she was doing down here. What, what was her thing down here? Um, God, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what her thing is. So we'll figure that out later, I guess. Maybe it was in here. Oh, the Jark dis Dark Justice Ears. <laughs> the Jark Justice Ears. Uh, they wage war against the followers of Saluna. They must have had a substantial lair. Okay, maybe we can get into that place if we have Shadowheart with us. So we'll swap out for her, I think. And... Did Lazel have something down here? Oh yeah, there was that person who... I thought spoke, um... Githyanki. But, um, Real Arkelian tells me I was wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe... Maybe Lazel doesn't get to come. I did want to take Gale just because I kind of miss having his uh, big magic blasts. So I think we can... Uh... Oh, we're just going to be going back to that same party. Just we're swapping back and forth a lot between the same characters. Right, uh, I guess Gale can take Will's place. Where the hell is Will again? Oh, not that way. Hello, Will? Is he up here? Oh, there's Gale. Okay, they're right next to each other. Well, you're getting benched. Well met. Goodbye. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Yep, I'll and get you later. just when things were warming up. Gale, don't tell me you're hungry either. Go ahead. I'm listening. I don't think I even have anything. With pleasure. Lead on. Watch him immediately get hungry. <laughs> do I have any kind of... I guess I could probably do it from the character sheet view. I don't think I have any items. Oh. No, there's like nothing. Can you eat a necromancy book? <laughs> well, we'll deal with that when it comes up, I guess. Oh, Karlak. I really want to bring her along more, but, um... Soldier? I think I gotta get Shadowheart. See what she's got going on down here. Uh... Okay, uh, right, um... Rilar Kellyan also told me that I should talk to her about the guy that I don't remember meeting. <laughs> so I don't remember meeting someone who could help you. A smith who worked in the hills for a time. Well now, maybe I could make his acquaintance. A titan screw or two might let me keep a little calmer. Maybe even manage a pat or bump without burning someone to death. It's been a long time. Now who was this person? <laughs> now that those paladins are out of the way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Thing's powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? And you gotta stay behind. Oh, come on. You don't mean that. Sorry, I do. You heard me. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. <laughs> well, whatever you like. Now, where is, uh... No, that's the boys up there. Um, Shadowheart? There she is. She always crouches down, so I always miss her. Shah's blessings upon you. We're back to the OG squad. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. 
And didn't I also find items I wanted to give to someone? That wasn't that. I mean, that is a good item, but it's the, it's particular. <laughs> Slashing damage versus bludgeoning damage. Titan string bow. Didn't I want to give... Did I want to give that to someone? Was that the weapon deals additional damage equal to your strength, right? I think I wanted to take that. Spell Sparkler. That was it. Gale. Can I compare, Gale? Do you not have any? He ate it, didn't he? Well, it's a good thing I got that. Here we go. <laughs> Can't eat this one. It's not edible. Staff of Crones. I mean, you can hold that one. Look, another shovel. So many shovels. Speedy reply. I could probably go to Asterion, right? No, not martial. Uh, he's not uh, proficient with martial weapons or scimitars. I think that one's probably going to go to Lazel then. Morning Star, though. Wits and blades always sharp. So the one she has has Zionide's Zy Fire. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in Fairy Fire. Oh, it only works once per short rest. For some reason, I thought that always worked. And this one has Tenacity. It does more damage. I'll probably just, yeah. Here, I'll do that and... Give you that. Plus two armor for that thing. Do I have a better shield? Something that's not so, like, ugly? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I think we're good. Breathing, despite everything. Well, let's level up a bit. What have we got? Level five. Extra attack can make an additional free attack after making an unarmed or weapon attack. Oh, if you gain the extra attack feature from the, from more than one class, they don't add together. And movement speed increased by 10 while not wearing heavy armor. With the option to change bestial heart. I don't know. I like bear. So that gives the heal. I haven't really used it, but I mean, you never know. Uh, diving strike, leap into a foe, knocking them prone. That's also pretty good. Primal Stampede, charge forward, attack everyone in the way, and knock them prone. That's also pretty nice. Tiger's Bloodlust, lash out and attack up to three enemies at once. Oh, it would also be nice to have an AoE. I, I might switch to Tiger. Because I know there have been plenty of times where I've been wishing I had an AoE. Is that a once a short rest? No, it's just an action. Oh. Inciting Howl. Additional movement. Oh, let's check out Tiger Heart. Enter a rage that empowers your leaps. Okay. And then Tiger's Bloodlust and the uh, jump, eh, jump distance increases by 15. That is pretty good. What was the other one I was thinking of? I was also considering maybe Elk. I'm really going, I think, for Tiger, but Elk is pretty cool too, just for that uh, stampede. And it doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. That is nice. Four to seven bludgeoning. What else does it give? Swiftness. Just makes you faster. I think I'll probably do that. And then we get, uh, get some new jewelry. All right. Yeah. Let's try t uh, Tiger. Because we have a healer with us anyway. Shadowheart can throw down some heals if needed. Help. 
up and what's that do? Uncanny dodge. Use your lightning quick reflexes to protect yourself. When an attack hits you, you only take half usual damage. Is that something I need to like activate or is that a reaction or what? Place spell. Select a spell will be removed. I really like having magic missile. Okay, let's we'll remove chromatic orb. And uh charm color spray. What's that? Blind people? Up to 33 hit points. False life, enhanced leap, ice knife could be good. Freeze fog cloud. Blinds and heavily obscures creatures within it be good if it would blind them but then that makes it where we can't hit them as well familiar feather fall long strider mage armor possibly increase its armor class to 13 plus dex modifier ray of sickness shield thunder wave that could be good also and witch bolt how far does this go seven feet I never have him up close, though. Almost never. He does have... Uh, what's it? Arcane Missile or whatever, which is long range. Uh, which is where I'll have him most of the time. But he also, because he does sometimes go up and bite people, might be worth having a close-up thing. So this piercing damage explodes and deals additional damage to anyone nearby and leaves an icy surface. You know, why not? Try it out. Except. Who's next? Oh, Gale. All right. Magic time. In two spells. Does he not have shoes on? Have I not equipped him with shoes? Did he eat his boots? Did he eat it because I wasn't there to feed him? Gale. I swear to God, if you ate something important. Oh, I'll be so mad. Level three spell slots. Oh, he's got level three. Nice. All right. Oh, this is going to be a lot to look through. All right. Let's choose them. Animate dead. Oh, necromancy. Has to be a medium or small. Bestow curse. Curse a creature with your touch. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks. Let's you deal additional damage to the target or rob it of its actions. That could be pretty good. Blink. Uh, you vanish. When there, you won't be harmed or seen. Counterspell. Try to stop a spell being cast. Oh, I've seen that used a lot in like various Dungeons and Dragons shows that I've watched. Someone will try and cast something. They're like, oh, a counterspell. I might do that. That could be really good. You never know when you might have some big spell you want to stop. It is just reaction, right? If it's higher level than the spell slot you used to counter spell, you must make a check against your or using your spell casting ability to prevent it. The check's difficulty is equal to 10 plus the level of the spell you're trying to counter. And I mean, he will eventually learn most of these anyway, just picking up stuff like reading scrolls. Oh, I might have more scrolls for him to read. I should definitely check that. Targets drop everything and become fearful. They have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. If the target ends their turn where they can't see you, they make another saving throw. Oh, okay. They have to be in your sight. Feign death. Put an ally in a protective coma. They become resistant to all damage except psychic. Hmm. Okay. Fireball. Eat a 48 damage. Jeez. Shoot a bright flame from your fingers that explodes upon contact, torching everything in the vicinity. That's pretty nice. Grant Flight, okay. Sleet Storm. A storm that disrupts the concentration of spell spellcasters, douses fires, and creates an icy surface. Doesn't do damage, though. Remove Curse. Protection from energy. Resistance to acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. Lightning Bolt, 8 to 48. 
Hits all creatures in the line. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds pretty nice. Hypnotic pattern. Hypnotize creatures that can see the pattern. They cannot attack you. They cannot move or act. But can be cast while you're silenced. Hmm. Haste. Target yourself or an ally to become hastened. Creature has a plus two bonus to armor class, advantage on dexterity saving throws, its movement speed is doubled, and it can take one additional action per turn. But when it ends, they become lethargic, consumed by exhaustion in the aftermath of haste, can't move or take actions, bonus actions, or reactions. Wow, okay, so you're really sacrificing to get that in, whatever you're trying to do. Glyph of warding, inscribed Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground when stepped on by an enemy. Selected magical effect will trigger. Gaseous form. There's a lot of interesting stuff. Transform yourself or an ally into a tiny gas cloud. Oh, I do have a... I have a scroll for that. Oh, nice. Okay. Slow. Target up to six creatures and slow them. Affected entity's movement speed is halved and its armor class and dexterity saving throws are reduced by two can't take reactions or make more than one attack per turn that'd be nice for whenever we get into fights with people who can do like three or whatever goddamn hits in one turn Ooh, what's that stinking cloud spell of fart uh create a cloud of gas so nauseating and prevents creatures from taking actions vampiric touch siphon life force and regain half as much as hit points Yeah, I'm kind of into slow. What else did I get? I got Counterspell, which I'm definitely keeping. Haste could be good, but the Lethargic is kind of annoying. Lightning Bolt would be nice just for pure damage. Also Fireball, although that does a big blast. Which would be good for anybody in a big group, but because... Tav is going to be up in, like, up in everybody's faces. More than likely what would happen is I'd never use that spell because I'd always be worried about hitting Tav. But with this, I could, I could, like, kind of guide it in a certain way and still possibly hit multiple people. All right, I think I'm between Lightning Bolt and Slow. And I'm kind of leaning to Lightning Bolt just because... I like having a big damage blast, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Prep some spells. Right, we can only have so many. Well, Thunder Wave, I think you're getting replaced with Lightning Bolt. Keep hold person. Magic Missile is nice, just because it can never miss. Witch Bolt is decent. And I mean, I do still want to keep level 1 stuff, because I do still have level 1 spell slots. Scorching Ray is nice. Shatter is pretty nice. Darkness. Create a dark shroud that heavily obscures and blinds. I don't think I've ever used it. Watch it be something I actually need sometime soon. Alright, I think... I think that might be, um, might be good. Let's do that. I'll teach him more scrolls soon. Oh, she's got new stuff too. Destroy undead. When you successfully turn an undead creature, it also takes four to 24 radiant. Jesus. Do I have to choose one of these? Are these just all things she has, or...? Yeah, I think they're all just available now. What's that one? Bestow Curse? You already know the spell. This spell is a better version of one you already know. You will only have access to this one. I think it's just an upgrade from, like, she probably had level 2 already. And she gets fear. All right. What's she got? Level threes. 
Beacon of Hope, your allies will regain the maximum maximum hit points possible when healed. They also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Oh, that's pretty nice. Protection from energy, resistance to all kinds of stuff. Remove curse. Yeah. Glyph of Warding, we read about that. Spirit Guardians, call forth spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take 3 to 24 Radiant or 3 to 24 Necrotic per turn, and their movement speed is halved. Ooh. Oh, that is pretty good. I, I'm probably going to swap out for that. Oh, I don't know what I'll change, but I'm... Oh. But I just... Did just take off protection from poison? Okay, I'll need to make sure I <laughs> look through in just a second. Daylight. Make something shine. Mass healing. Heal nearby allies. Okay. Animate dead. Man, I could have her be a healing necromancer. Speak with the dead. Don't need that. Revivify. That'd be nice to have, but it's something I could just swap out for as needed, right? Unless I really need it in battle, like if someone fully falls down in battle. All right. Spirit Guardians I want. Hold is good. I do want to keep heals. Healing word, 4 to 7. Cure wounds is 4 to 11. That one is, what, 4 to 7, but it's a mass. So, nearby allies, right? Shield of Faith, incre increase armor class by 2. Lesser Restoration, Bless. Protection from Energy. Um, do I want to do that one? I don't want to have her be a necromancer. What else do we have? Beacon of Hope. That would be good to go along with her healing. Yeah, we're going for the necromancy. And then her, um... Tricker domain stuff is just available always. Let's do that. Okay. I'll quick save after doing all that so I don't have to do it again. Just in case something goes wrong. Let's head out. We've only spent 23 ish minutes. <laughs> I don't care what others say about the Underdog. It's beautiful down here. Yeah, you would say that. What Life is going on with... Gloom. This is something else. Something weird going on with Tav's portrait. It's that black spot on him. I don't know how all these uh, mushrooms survived the shattering of these guys. Don't really need your hammer. Alright, where where was I? We we had just beaten up um well, we didn't beat him, he really just What the heck was that? What's what is that wet noise? <laughs> is that anything? Laculite. I don't think there's anywhere we really... Oh, we can take that, can we? Let me get a better view over that way. We can probably head down that way, right? Man, there's so many ways to go. We cross over to here. Probably on the boat. Spells to teach. Shocking grasp. Spell book for Gale. Not around, so might as well. Oh my god, look how many I've got. How come some of these are so much cheaper? Do 
could have like multiples of the scroll and he can just learn it more quickly. Also, is this a, oh, it's a cantrip. You got it, boy. Okay, that one's cheap. Have that one. And what was the one that I was looking at that I wanted to teach him? Also, how much money do I have? Oh, I've got plenty. Learn them all. Eat them up. Yum, yum, yum. Now, do I still have more that I could pass over to him? He's holding on to a lot of them. That's all. No, there's also scroll of acid. Scroll of grease. He already knows grease. Animal friendship. Scorching ray. You know, I could because of how um, we can just use whatever from the inventory. You know, it doesn't matter who's actually holding it. I'll probably just put all scrolls on him while I have him in the party. So that um, I just know where they are and I don't have to go like searching for them or anything. Can my magic. you? No. Okay, so that does pull from the entire party as well. All right, he's got that arcane recovery too. So did I get any big ones for him? Eh, you know what? We'll figure that out later. Curiosity must be satisfied. Look Another shovel. <laughs> so many shovels. Oh, is that a... It is. Okay, so we can teleport around. Oh, nice. Okay, I might come back because... Um... Uh... Who was it that said it? I should go and uh, go go check the the spider, the that spider that I didn't fight. Since it really does seem like things are starting to build up, so I might not have a chance later on. Then go to the blighted village. Head down the well and go see the spider lady. Now, these guys haven't respawned or anything, have they? I still have the spider boots, don't I? Oh, and I need to give him some boots. Did you eat anything else while you were at it? This guy. Can't take him anywhere. Well, I guess I can take him places, I just can't leave him behind. He didn't use up that, did he? No, he can't eat that. So he's just eating all he can. Where did I? Okay, I need to. <laughs> I need to sort this crap out. Give me by type. Those boots might just be gone. Ah, oh, damn it. He's holding the Absolute's Talisman. What did that do? Absolute's Talisman, aid, five healing on yourself. Until and uh, until long rest, it gives you additional five hit points. Okay. Does he have any... Yeah, he's got on the Gloves of Archery. That's good. What were some of these other things? Tarnished Charm? Easier for the wearer to succeed, death saving, and protection from good and evil. Well, we'll have to find you some booty somewhere. But that'll be later. Is this the right way oh yeah I think so
How close can we get before it actually realizes we're here? Watch your back. And can I have him do a little sneaky shot? Here, can you get over closer? Oh, that won't work, will it? Uh, maybe a little more closer. Ah, really? Okay, fine. I guess we gotta go down there. So where's the big lady? The mama spider. All right, there, there she is. All right, they have that like teleporty power. Good God, there's a lot of them. <laughs> okay, if he's saved from the poison. It's in sight, so apparently I don't need to have him hide. I can just move him out of sight. I think I have advantage. You're not still in their sight, are you? Really? All right, I guess just do a normal attack. I don't know. Do I also have um sharpshooter? Oh, that's just on. Okay. 60%. You got it. Come on. I'll have him wait because I want him up high. He can do more damage from up there. Shadow Heart. Can you animate a spider if you kill it? <laughs> Should have thought to have her bless everybody before we got down here, but what can you do? All right, climb down. Yeah, I'll move her in. What fools these mortals be! He's got so many spell slots. I forgot how many he's got. Like, do I have two lightning bolts? No, one is a witch bolt. What's the plus? Does the plus mean that it takes a spell slot? Yeah, I think so. The rest are just cantrips, right? How far can he hit? 60 from here? Oh, that thing's got like no health left. I don't want to waste anything big on. Yeah, let's just do a little. What's that? What's this button for? <laughs> well, this is just a cantrip, so. Right? Wait. Am I just, uh. Oh, it has two. Does it always have two? Does Will have two? Can you reach the other one? Oh, he can. And this does. Probably more than four. Let's try both. One. Oh, my God. Oh, it was a lightning charge that he used. Because he's got the... Because of his weapon. When the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two light... Oh, no, he gained the lightning charges. Right. All right, I'll have him wait there. Time to push my luck again. Tiger heart, baby! How far can he move? Pretty far, actually. Although... I need to find a way should forward. be able to get around this guy. Disadvantage. Oh, because he's poisoned. Oh. 
Uh, maybe just knock out this one. Oh, he's... Actually... Oh, I don't want to use it yet because he's got, um... Well, no, it's not... Right, I thought for a second it was the short rest. I also want to pull people over here where these guys can... help. Yeah, let's stay over here, I think. Oh, he gets under the move, right? Is that the tiger? No? Oh no, it's just his level up. He just gets an additional move. Here, I'm wanting to pull these guys back, so let's uh, just arrow. That's fine. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Just having an ethereal jaunt. She went up high so that she could uh, hit them. Okay, he doesn't have that anymore. Okay, they're only six. Oh, what? Why don't you just go down here? Why'd you go that way? Do you have a. No, you used both of them. Okay. Nope. I really would not have made it in this fight last time I came down through here. Let's try... Was it those ethereal guardians or whatever? Spirit guardians? Call for spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take damage. 3 to 24. And their movement speed is halved. It's concentration. Okay, she's just got to keep it up. Oh, you choose between. It's not like it just affects whichever one would like take the that type of damage. Okay. I was about to say they're they're poison. The necrotic will still hurt them, I'm sure, but let's just in case. Yeah, only poison resistance. Okay. Oh good god. <laughs> oh that that is good. Oh, that is so good. And he's no longer poisoned, but here have a healing word. Oh god, that is that is an excellent ability. That took out basically everything. <laughs> I know they were low on health, but wow. Tail for the ages. Oh, now this one's going to be annoying because it's up so high. Because if I use like Scorching Ray, 25%. Oh, it's, he's still threatened. Okay, right. That thing's still alive. Six. Zero to seven. Nah. Just use some cheap little cantrip on it. 2 to 20. It's too close, but it's still 90%. There we go. Alright, you can climb down. Get out of that toxin. Now, if we're underneath here, that She's going to have to come down because she won't have sight on us. Life comes easy these days. E. <laughs> Let's get this over with. All right, you get back under here, I think. On my way. We want to drag her down. Oh, Astarion's in a bad spot. 
he's gonna probably get it from her. Oh no, she came down. Ooh, that was a hard hit. Can you hit her from here? Target outside range. What about always hits, magic missile? 125. Pop a potion. Have him sit back a ways. I don't want them in a spot where they can just keep getting poisoned all the time. Shadowheart needs to get up on that thing. Ah, oh, there's a lot of poisons. It's just... Why don't we get to stack two poisons? The two different kinds? Oh man, it'd be good to have that, like, mass heal right now. I think I'm gonna have to... Have her use a heal, though. Is there anything I could use that we can't hold it because it's not a humanoid? Is that the Stoke Curse? I think I need to just heal. These guys are not in the best shape. Have to keep going. They don't stand in the toxin. She's not in it. I want to use up all the high level slots. Take two, two. I don't fancy their chances. All right, what's he got? I need something big. Squishing ray is six to thirty six. Lightning is eight to forty eight. Deck save. Oh, this thing has excellent decks. But fire is an int save, and it is not smart. So it might be worth doing Scorching Ray instead. Cast it at level 3. But I don't want to use a ball as well. Oh, disadvantage. Because he's poisoned. And need him to get out of the poison, but, uh. It's only one more turn, but it's gonna poison us next turn. It's gonna poison someone. I'll probably have to move Tav up, but it's just gonna run. Thirty-six. That is such. That's shit. I do magic missile. How much does it actually do? 6 to 15. Must be two additional darts. Let's try it out. Big hits, big hits. Oh, and the lightning stuff did... Oh, that was pretty good. Okay. Get back as far as possible. Wait there. Fight. Let's go. God, I hate that he's poisoned. I... Sure, I've got a... An antidote? Somewhere? Speed. Poison. Dolk. So much crap. So that's a bonus action. Does his extra attack count as bonus? And do I want to just have him drink a potion instead? Let's do it. 
right, he's no longer poisoned. Time to press ahead. Get up on her. Six to sixteen. Laceration. I think that's gonna be the one. Tiger's bloodlust. Ooh, lash out and attack up to three. Oh wait. For a second I thought that was up to three times. I just read this. I know what this is. Okay. <laughs> 60%. All right, Lacerator. She saved. That's okay. Cleave. Swing your weapon in a large arc to attack up to three. Oh, he's got multiple area of effects. Just do a main hand. Come on, 60%. Oh, yes. 42. All right, we've done a lot of damage to her, but she's also hurt us quite a lot. What was that? What did that do? Creature is enraged. Gain an additional attack per turn. Strength increased by two, armor class reduced by one. Did I take slow? Oh, I should have taken slow. <laughs> oh, that's hysteria. Uh, I didn't take slow. <laughs> Shit. Time for a couple. Can I move him just out of view? Probably that rock will be in the way. I mean, I want to try it. I think I'll have to turn off Sharpshoot. All right, 65. I can deal with that. Come on, big shot. Oh, good one. This all... Yeah, that's all. Just... Oh, no, there is a spot up there, but he won't be able to see her from it. Thought if there was like a ledge right here, he could look down on, but no, of course not. All right, stay where you are. Concentrate. On my way. Ha ha. Now, I could either have her heal. Have, could definitely use a little bit of healing. Never throw down a potion. Oh, well, she doesn't need it. It's gonna say heal them both, but she's actually the only one who really doesn't need to be healed. Could have her attack, but she's poisoned, so she's gonna get. What do you mean you have to you have to move? You can't reach from there? Oh, that is no good. She's Oh, because of her how she's shaped, I can't reach her. That's alright. You've done some damage. We'll just do it that way. Plus, he gets the temporary hit points, which is good. And I could have her throw a heal back at somebody. 21 versus 16. It's going to be upcast. Does she have any attack spells that I'll be able to use? I mean, I can't this round, obviously, because I just had her cast a... Uh, on Tav. All right, upcast that. Oh, nice. Okay. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, come on, give us some big hits. Sixty percent. Oh, really? 
60% you missed too. All right. Can't even catch my breath. He's not poisoned or anything, so he's going to get two hits this round. Oh, he's got this. She's got one health. We got her. What is that? Poisoner's robe. When the wearer casts a spell that deals poison damage, it deals an additional one to four. Hmm. I mean, that would be something that would probably go to Gale? Because most people can wear armor, but that's just clothing. Silk gland. What? What is he wearing right now? Just a basic, simple ass robe. I don't even know if he's got any poison abilities. But it doesn't make sense to give that to anybody else. Gives him resistance to cold? Wait. Grants resistance to cold damage. Oh, because, god damn it, I'm always doing that. It's like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, here you go, put this on. Oh, geez, look at him. He is like, he's the spider wizard. God, I wish I had the spider step boots for him. You didn't get so fucking hungry. <laughs> so pissy. Nobody else is holding them, are they? Oh, look at his outfit. Oh, he is the king of spiders. And these things have stayed interesting. Swift is my feet. Good carry. Let's check the corpses. Don't get too close. They're a little nasty. Yeah, it makes sense they wouldn't have anything. They were literally just born, but they don't even have any, like, biological matter we can take. Oh, a skeleton. Basic onyx ring, basic longbow. Be funny if this cave also connects to the Underdark. Oh, what is that over there? Dark amethyst. Spooky crystals. Oh, that's an ancient sigil. Of all places we would need to teleport. I'm not going to complain, but it's odd that that's there. Before we go up there, that looks like an exit. That's... I feel a breeze. I wonder what's down there. Oh, by all means. You first. Unlock the ancient tome. We found the gem to unlock the book. The book is locked tight and the me mechanism isn't shaped for a key, some kind of stone. Aha. Go for the webs, it's nasty. Oh, see, if only you hadn't eaten those boots. Basic quarter stuff, and yeah. And there's the queen. Now, up above, I don't think there is. Can I? Like, no, the camera's not gonna cooperate. I don't think there's anything up above. But at least if we get up top, then we can move the camera around a bit. <clears throat> and that's where we came down before. Oh, so if we'd come this way, we could have just attacked them from way up here. These rocks. Oh, they're eggs. 
Some bones and that. I don't know what that is, but interested to find out. These are probably going to pop as we pass them. That's okay. I don't think this is anything. Nope, that's nothing. Can we just jump down? Oh, this is the other way. I see. Okay. Oh, they were talking about a breeze down here. What was the breeze? Could we, like, go down this hole? does not look like a way that we can go down. And I, I don't really want to jump down a creepy hole. Um, if if you know what that is, the, the part where he said you can feel a breeze and then Asterion's, like, after you, was that referring to this? Or is there, um... Is there a hole or a cave somewhere that I've just, like, overlooked? Well, there's not an exit this way, at least. We're definitely going to need a long rest after that, because Gale used up quite a bit, and I think Shadowheart also used up quite a bit. I suppose we've gotten everything down here, although what is that... What's that back there? Look at the Blighted Village, just so we can get more close to this side. We go around this way, I think. Yeah, up here. Was this the way into that, like, um, that building where we could, um, do some smithing. Because that is a quest we've got. We need to smith something. Right, yeah, we broke that down. You guys are fine. You're fine. It's just a little web. Yeah, because this is a quest we need to do. We found the blueprints for masterwork weapons. All we need to, need to forge one is some bark from a sister tree. Oh, okay, so we are still looking for something. I don't think we found that, or else it would be in here. Okay, find the missing boots. Oh, right, from the, the guys we killed last time. Okay, so this place is nothing. <laughs> Head back up. What else could we do while we're up here? Because there's the Githyanki Kretsch. I could just, um, pass on by here and see what that's about. And there's the Mountain Pass. Yeah, I think what we'll do is... We'll come up to the Risen Road and have a long rest. And then I might swap out for Lazelle just so we can go over here and check this out before we head back down to the Underdark and finish that. Because the Underdark seems definitely like the way we're supposed to go. So let's have a rest. What am I doing? Got to click down here. Ah, uh, back to the old faithful, the original campsite. 
nobody's got any exclamation points over their head, so I don't think anybody's really, like, you know, raring to go on anything. Who might I swap out for? If we're not going back to the Underdark for now, I might drop Shadow Hearts. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? I gotta swap you out for your bestie. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. <laughs> Even if I do absolutely ship the two of them, you know. <laughs> it would be fun to do a um a game playing as the uh either Shadowheart or Lazel origin and romance. Either Shadow Horde or Lazel, depending on, you know, which one you play as. Speak. Yeah, coming with me. It Please. is done. Great. And what do you get? Either level five health. And that is extra attack. Oh, I'm really liking all these extra attacks. And a cantrip. Misty step. Oh, she gets all these, like, uh, movement things, which are very nice. Nothing to choose, though. Very easy. All right, let's get asleep. And dinner is mushrooms and bread. Sounds pretty good. I'm actually pretty hungry myself. Wonder what I'm gonna have for dinner. And now, 58 over 40. I, I know that, like, you guys told me that it just says that because, like, you know, there's four and seven and whatever, but it's not gonna use all of them. Still my, like, <laughs> min max brain is like, no, go and choose individually. All right, full rest. Just do it. Trust the system. Press that I believe button. All right, there we go. I will leave camp. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. I was waiting for some kind of like, ooh, or something from him. Now, I think I've got something for you, Lazelle. What are these? When the wearer ends their rage. Oh, right, it's a rage one. So that's not for her. Speedy reply, maybe? So I've given her Great Axe plus one. Exterminator's Axe. Oh, right. Oh, but I think I wanted to give that to um, Karlak. Well. I think for now. Geez. Six to 22 plus conditional fire. Plants, insects, or small creatures. Oh, that would have been good down in, um, down in the cave. All right, for now, you can hold that until Karlak. But I do want to give it to her just for theming. Vision of the Absolute. And this one also would have been good because of the damage to enemies with multiple eyes. Need it keep better track of my, you know, General Garbo. Should probably also... Okay, before I stop, I think I'll go back to the Grove and do a little bit of shopping. Can't give up now. We need to find some have to keep going. boots for Gale so he's not just, like, stomping around on all the, like, little, uh... What are those little spiny seeds? God, those Tell things me, that. Uh oh. When you say we might be purified at your crash. What does that mean exactly? Augusta will affix the safest, the purity, to our heads. 
Its magic will dispel the parasite in an instant. Yeah, if it works, and I have a feeling it's probably not going to. It's probably actually gonna kill us. It's just they probably don't tell people that. They're like, oh yeah, just put this on, you'll be fine. It'll kill, it'll quell the parasite by also killing you. I have a feeling that's going to be the case when we're going to get there and she's going to start to see that her people aren't so right. And that's going to be like her personal story arc. It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Of course. Do you have any boots? Oh, he's just got all the crap I've given him. Don't you ever restock. Come on. Some of these things. Chain shirt, scale mail, ring mail. Hide armor. Plus one to dexterity saving and checks. Plus one to initiative. What kind of armor does she wear? Heavy? Can she wear heavy? But, okay, hers gives an AC bonus from dexterity of plus two, but if she wore this, she wouldn't get it. Oh, yeah, and those are just her, like, regular items. Let's get rid of that trident, I think. Yeah, it was ripe with magic. Staff of Crones. I don't think I'm going to end up using that. It just has Ray of Sickness. I think that Electric Veins thing is pretty great. So you can have that. Have these bottles. Don't touch me. Generic short sword. Oh, is that the one? No, a dagger plus one. Four to seven. Five to eight. Why is he not equipping that? Second, I thought that's a 22 armor class. I was like, shit. But no, that's 12. Simple robe, you're out. Bunch of these things. Some necklaces, some books. Agate. Bronze ingot. We're really gonna need that for like making stuff. Snare. It's another quarter staff I'm probably not going to use. It does quite a bit more damage because, I mean, the others are what, 0 to 7, and this was 4 to 11. Chance to ensnare a target that is not a plant or a beast. Is there any other character I'm going to get that might be a class that could use that? I was going to say maybe a druid, but then again, druids are like the whole set and they're going to turn into bears, so probably not going to need that. I'll just hang on to this stuff. I'll write in that weird thing. All right, I think that's good. Oh, persuasion. Keep your distance, darling. Do any of them have additional persuasion? No. Okay, and you can't just choose one person to do the trading, but then switch between the rest of them. That's that's pretty good. May you keep balance. Are there any other shops where I might? Find a boot. That's medium armor. I was going to say he could just wear her old boot, but can't. I probably have some shoes back at the uh, um, campsite. Alright, 
we'll go back up to Risen Road. But give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. <laughs> I like having her around just because everyone everyone has such interesting contact with her. All of the characters are so good. All right, um, we're staying here. And next time, like I said, we're going to go to the Kretsch. So uh, we'll figure out what's going on there. And I've already given my theory on what's going to happen. What was the other thing right past here? Travel through the mountain pass. Is that the, um, the overland route that we're taking the Underdark for? So what is that? Oh, we need to go back and speak with him. That's another thing we can do over there. And then that's the Underdark. Okay. So yeah, next time we'll go to the Kretsch and we'll also speak with Benrin and then probably just continue on because I don't think there's... Like, why does the tea house keep appearing? What is in the tea house? Is that the necromancy book? Is that where we... Like, it's going to point me for the necromancy book? We'll figure it out later. <laughs> so until next time, I'll see you guys then. Good night.